So here we have a sunfish in here. We don't normally do this stuff, but for our customers, we try to help them out. And Jim Murphy is one of our customers. So um, issues with this thing is that it's kind of taking off water, taking on water. So what we've decided to do here on this, just wanted to run it by you. We're gonna clean the hell out of this wash box underneath of it. We're actually gonna use a power washer to do that. Then what we're going to do is seal the whole perimeter with 5200 and then we'll put an additional pop rivet on each end. So one and there, one over there, and then we'll put a nice burly bead of 5200 around that whole thing. And then we'll also seal up the top of the pop rivets because that's how water could be getting in through that too. And then originally we were talking about taking this, it's either aluminum or stainless, I'm not sure. This um, goes around the perimeter of the boat here where the deck meets the hull. And I'm afraid of actually doing that because it's just gonna create more holes and open more holes out. So one thing we did find when we were moving it, because you had said that when the boat sits in the, um, it's on the beach that water comes in so actually what we found was there's a hole there's a hole right on the stern there and you can see the water is just pouring out so uh okay you can let it down now so uh, we're going to fix that hole and then what we would like to do is again do a pretty burly um 5200 around either we would go from say where it says sunfish around to the other side and just 5200 the top part of the deck and where the hull is pretty burly bead because the stuff takes like over a week to dry and a little time consuming because you got to tape it off and be neat and all that stuff and we would also put some 5200 probably on the top of those pop rivets so we can either go from like right here where it says sunfish with the bead of caulk around to the other side so there's symmetry to it or do the whole thing the whole boat which i think is a waste and then uh instead of opening up this where it was fixed before we'll just like encapsulate all that I think that's the thing to do because to take the aluminum off or stainless whatever it is opens up a big ball of wax about putting that back on unless you specifically want us to definitely do that.